morning, y'all. It's Ben with White Tail Hollow Farms. So we're leaving the farm right now. We're going to do our first project of the day. We gotta go get some hay for the cows. Like I said in one of our more previous videos, we don't have hay ready to cut quite yet, so we're still buying right now. We want to get to the point where we're totally self-sufficient and ahead of the curve on getting hay, and hopefully soon we won't have to put as much hay out when we've got cows on actual pasture and not pine field. So we're gonna go get two rolls of hay. That'll only last us a few days, but didn't feel like hooking the trailer up today. So we're just gonna get two rolls and head on home. Well, here we are. They've got some fresh cut rolls that we're gonna load up with the tractor over there. I'm gonna set y'all down and get loaded. Hey y'all, so I got Ben to come out here and show you, uh, um, he's gonna video me while we tag. We have a new hatch and uh, he just hatched out. I've actually got video and I'll post some video to our reels and our shorts on uh, Insta and YouTube. But this little guy just hatched out. So we number all of our eggs so we can kind of get a track. We're off a little bit this year on some of our hatches, but I just actually got this guy on video hatching out. He's still kind of sticky. So we're gonna get all of this off of him. And I'm gonna pull his shell. And we will number this, but I have a um, leg band here. So we leg band all of our babies. This is leg band 81. Uh, we started at 50 or 51 this year so he's like number 30 to hatch out um, another thing they like to do is can i have that piece little man they always like to break their shell where their number is so we're working to make sure we have numbers on multiple spots on the egg so that'll go with his shell but i'm going to take him out for just a minute Put these guys back in. Close the incubator up so we don't lose too much temperature. Hi, little man. How are you? So he had a pretty great hatch. He's got a little bit of an umbilical thing going here, so he'll stay in the hatcher for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and tag him right now. And all we do, these are really cool leg bands. They come apart and they actually snap together. And there's two ways to get them to reopen you can either squeeze them which it's not doing so you can squeeze them and they'll pop open or the easiest way we have found um, so if it snaps together the easiest way we found is they'll actually you can slide them and they can slide open which is usually a little easier to get them off of them when they're in that state so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna put his little leg band on here we're gonna watch him a little bit because of this little hernia going on here so that should heal up in the incubator hi right, little man so we're gonna put him back in here right him up he's gonna hang out here we've got a couple more they like to do this little tap, 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 tap thing. Tap, tap, tap. So he'll warm up there. This one was actually moving around a few minutes ago, so we're gonna keep an eye on that one. And 50, 65 and 58, 
were both kind of moving on their own while I was watching him hatch, so we'll keep an eye on them today. Uh, we just wanted you to see how we go ahead and tag them so we can ID them. So that was number 81. What I'll do is we use chalk markers on our eggs. So I will go ahead and also mark his egg. I have renumbered it um, in a different spot on here. So I went ahead and marked another 62 on here since he had wiped his off. And I will actually mark on here now that it's LB or leg band 81. So we have to DNA all of these shells here. And hopefully Ben and I will get around to doing that for y'all tonight so that we can show you how we actually get DNA samples to send in. So y'all have a good one. Talk to you soon. I'll tell you what, the days are getting hotter faster. So we're going to go over and till the garden now. I've been inside just hanging out this afternoon, getting some computer stuff done, answering some emails, phone calls, etc. And uh, we need to get the garden taken care of. So we're going to jump on the old Yanmar YM2000 here. This thing needs some work done to it. I'm sure it's about time for an oil change. It's got some fuel lines that are leaking over here. It's got a seal that's leaking pretty bad. Eventually we'll get this thing in the shop and get some work done on it. But right now we're going to go till up our Milpa garden. Also so the compression release on it is acting real funny it's real stiff we're not really sure what that's all about so you got to get off the tractor to use the compression release the rod we've disconnected because you just couldn't seem to get it to pull so i'm gonna see if i can get it cranked over here uh-oh looks like we're dealing with some dead battery-itis So now we should have enough power to start this thing up. Got some jumpers run. Of course, out of gear, so it won't run me over. It's running. I might need subtitles on this. It's a little bit loud and bumpy and shaky. But we're tilling our milk garden area here. This is some compacted dirt. We had this as a garden probably, I don't know, seven or eight years ago and haven't done anything with the area since. So we figured we'd turn it back into a garden again. Get turned around here and do our next row. This is gonna be a while doing this area. All right, it's getting a little bit dark out here. I finished tilling. I'm actually on the backhoe now, fixing to put out a roll of hay. We didn't want to have to till this area up. We want to go to no-till at some point, but we don't have a no-till drill. And this mix, we can't just throw it out on the ground and expect it to grow. So we ended up tilling it. We'll get it embedded in the soil a little bit. So that hopefully we'll get some sort of a stand out of this stuff. We'll talk a lot more about this garden when we go to actually plant it. And that'll probably be an entirely separate video. So we're going to keep trucking on with our day here and get this hay put out for the cows and then maybe wrap it up. And I know this was kind of a just a day in the life sort of deal. This is just another day on the farm, nothing in particular that we focused on, but we got some good projects done. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, follow us on all our other social media.